Mark and Shola, thank you for the nomination. Tonight I'm going to be cooking a dish for Hospitality for Heroes. My dish this evening is a baked haddock lentils and smoked paprika. I'm tonight joined by Jessie, my daughter, who's going to help me cook and to, to donate. All the information is below. Great stuff. Well done. Are you ready to cook? Yeah. Good. The first thing we're going to do, you've seen all the ingredients that we've got, store, mostly store covered ingredients. We've got the haddock here on a plate uh, and we've got some, a couple of onions and two pieces of garlic. Um, I'm going to show you how to chop the onion and, and, and slice some garlic. Uh, Jesse is going to, we've got, we've got a fantastic uh, Le Creuset pan behind us here, um, good earthenware dish. I'm going to turn the gas on, I'll turn the heat on to number four. And I'm going to cover the whole base of the pan in oil. So Jess, do you want to turn that on number four and then put, put, put some oil into it? Onion. And the good thing about this dish is the majority of it is all done in the oven. It's a little bit of prep uh, and the oven does the work for you. So we've cut the oven in half and um, we just cut off the little root off the end, like so. Straight in half. This is a good chance for you to, uh, to practice your knife skills. Take off the root. So take all the ingredients that you're not going to be using and just put them to one side and then we're just going to slice the onion, the onion. They're, not, they're not chopped, they're just sliced. So we just, like so. Even if they're a little bit on the rough side, it's absolutely fine. This is a braised dish, it's rustic. So um, if your onion's a little bit on the thick side, it's absolutely fine. So slice the onions. Like so. Always good and always remember a good chopping knife, uh, nice and sharp. Okay, so the next stage of our, our dish for hospitality for heroes. So you saw us earlier cutting the, the cutting up the onion and the garlic. That's now been cooking just for three, four, uh, four, five minutes in a pan. And as you can see, just quickly have a look at this, Arch, come here. There's quite a bit of oil in the pan, which is absolutely fine. Do not worry about that because that's gonna cook into the dish and the lentils with the stock will absorb all that incredible flavor. So you've got your, your oil, your onions, your garlic, salt, and a little bit of pepper. Now the store of the, the you right, Jess? Yeah. Good. Store covered ingredients. We've got some smoked paprika, tomato puree, a little bit of tomato juice, lentils, which have just been lightly washed, a chicken stock cube, or a fish stock cube, but I've used chicken because I think it has just a little bit more flavor, and a pint of water, hot water adding to that. So what we do, they've cooked down, we put our smoked paprika, in there, into the pan, 100 grams, and we just right. So the lentil uh, paprika sort of casserole is has been in the oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees C. What we need to do now is to go and get that out. I'll go and grab that. Jess, open the door. Yeah. There we go. Right, you close the door for me. Right here we go. So, so this has been in 20 minutes. 200 degrees, you can now start to see that the dish has started to thicken. And so you get a nice thick uh, consistency. You see, yes, there's a little bit of oil on top, but that's absolutely fine. So what that's done now, that's actually started to cook the lentils. And so before we add the fish, we just mix the sauce that's on the outside into the dish. So, so. okay. So here we've got our haddock. I had four, four pieces of haddock and I've just cut them into, into two. So we've now got eight pieces because this is for the family. And what you do is you just take those and just drop them. 10 minutes has gone, let's go and grab the dish. Jess, you got the door? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, that's it, almost complete. We've got a little bit of bread, just finished off cutting up that bread. So that's the dish, we've had 10 minutes of the fish cooked on top, and just by a little bit of touch, that's perfect. It's beautifully sitting there. And to finish this dish, what we're going to do, we're gonna have um, a touch of mascarpone, some basil, and some lemon zest. I asked Jessie to get me the lemon zester earlier, and she came up with this. This is sort of, what's this from? It's from um, an elf, elf on the shelf. Elf on the shelf. That was Jessie's uh, uh, grater. To, to grate the dish. Not quite a professional chef, so we'll give that one a miss, Jess. So, there we go. So, a little bit of lemon. I'm just gonna zest the lemon over the top, and that just brings a really fresh flavor, great. 